Just like we have different money notes for different amounts of money, there are different musical notes for different amounts of beats. These are called note values. Let's have a listen. The violins are playing a steady beat. These are all one beat notes. One beat notes can be written with a symbol that looks like this. These are called crotchets. The horn is also playing a steady beat, but its notes are longer. Each of its notes are the length of two of the violin's notes. We can write the horn's notes with a symbol like this. These are called minims, and they are worth two beats. When you see a minim, you play it once and hold it for two counts or beats. Now the flute is joined in, and its notes are even longer. Each of its notes are four beats long. The flute's notes look like this. This is a semi-brief, and it is worth four beats. A semi-brief is played once and held for a count of four. So you can see, two crotchets fit into a minim, and two minims fit into a semi-brief. So a semi-brief is worth four crotchets. So far, I've said that a crotchet is one beat and a minim two beats and so on. Well, that's not always the case, and we'll find out more about that in the later grades. However, the relationships always remain the same. A minim is always worth two crotchets, and a semi-brief is always worth two minims. For grade one, however, you only need to be able to read music which has crotchet beats. In this video series, we'll be using the British terms for these note values, which come from the Italian names for them. In America, the same symbols are named after their German names, quarter note, half note, and whole note. You don't need to know this to pass the exam, but if you ever come across these terms, now you'll know why. So far, the examples have all been very steady because the instruments have all used notes of the same length next to each other. Only when different note lengths are put one after another do we truly get rhythm. Rhythm brings life and soul into music, making it come alive. Here's a tune you may recognize. Here it is again, but this time, listen to how I count it. One, 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 two, one, 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 two, one, 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 two, three, four. Notice how the counting was very steady. This is the pulse and that I counted two beats for the minims and four beats for the semi-breves. Counting like this in your head while playing music can help to keep a steady beat and to get the correct rhythm. Let's give it a go. Here's an example rhythm. Just like reading English, we read music left to right. So we start with the note on the left and the notes on the right come after. How would you count it? Remember to count one beat for the crotchets two beats for the minims, and four beats for the semi-breves. That's correct. One, 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 two, one, two, one, 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 two, three, four. Let's try clapping it together. Join in with me. After four, one, two, three, four. Let's try it the other way around. Have a listen to the following rhythm and see if you can figure out which of these two written rhythms fit. It was the bottom one. So today, you learned the one beat crotchet, the two beat minim, and the four beat semi brief. In the next lesson, we'll be learning about the high notes and low notes, or pitch. See you then.